Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! third grade welcome to the math fsa boot camp series this is video number 11. somebody challenged me in orlando florida to wear a sideways hat so <laughs> challenge accepted i hope that you have your worksheet because now is the time to pause this video and solve the two problems on your own for today and if you're saying miss mccarthy i don't have the worksheet well check out the link below or somewhere around this video it will take you to a place where you can download the worksheet that you need for this video along with the other ones in this series so at this time, pause the video, press play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back, everybody. Still rocking the sideways hat. Oh, yes. Okay, so we are at number one right here. And is that a smudge on my paper? First, we're going to identify the question type. So I see a short little question. That's always nice, right? With four answer choices. So what kind of question is this? Yeah, it's a multiple choice question. So let's write that in there. If you didn't already, this is a multiple choice question. Okay, now let's go ahead and read the question and mark up our text. It says, find the difference. Ooh, that's a keyword. Find the difference of 1,000 minus 257. So actually difference here means to subtract. Sometimes they don't have a subtraction sign there, but they do say like find the difference of the two numbers. And you have to know that difference means subtract. So let's subtract them. We need to line up our places. So I've got a seven in the ones place, a five in the tens place and a two in the hundreds place. All right. So now zero minus seven is not seven. A lot of third graders will make this mistake and they'll say, Ooh, zero minus seven. Well, seven minus zero is seven. So it must be seven, right? And I'm like, Nope, it's not. Because if you have zero of something, you cannot take away seven. Well, you can, but that doesn't come until sixth grade. You'll see that soon. It's coming. But for right now, we need to regroup. So what we do is we go over to the tens place, but there's nothing to regroup from. So we go to the hundreds place and there's still nothing to regroup from. So let's go to the thousands. Oh my goodness. The angels sing because we have a one in the thousands place. We're going to take one that becomes a zero. Take a thousand and give it over here. That becomes a ten. Ten hundreds is the same as one thousand. So now let's go back. Zero minus seven is we can't do it. We need to regroup, but there's still nothing there. So we go to the hundreds. Take one that becomes a nine, give one that becomes a 10. We gave the 100 to the tens place, and now we have 10 tens. And we can also take one that becomes a nine because we need to give one over here so we can actually do 
the one's place of traction. Now we are ready to go, go. 10 minus seven is three. Nine minus five is four. Nine minus two is seven. Zero minus nothing is zero, and we actually don't even need to place it there, which would give us 743. Do you see that as an answer choice? Oh yes, I see it for choice C. We can eliminate because we solved it out. We know, you know what, let's go ahead and check it using addition because addition and subtraction are inverse operations. So we can actually go from the bottom to the top. Watch this, 743 plus 257 should equal 1000. Three plus seven is 10. Ooh, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. One plus four is five, and five plus five is 10. Ooh, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. One plus seven is eight, and eight plus two is 10, which makes it 1,000. Now our answer is not 1,000. We were just checking to make sure that our solution of 743 was correct. All right, let's check out number two. Oh. You guys know what time it is. It's time for one of my favorite types of problems, the matching item response. Because look, it says match. It doesn't always say match up here, but you can tell because we're gonna take the row and match it with the correct column and it's gonna be awesome. It's always awesome. Let's read and mark up our text. This says match each expression, which means there is no equal sign. An equation has an equal sign. These are expressions, they do not have equal signs. To correctly compare the numbers. Oh, I love comparing. Okay, so we know that this is a less than sign. This is a greater than sign. And of course, we've been, we've had equal signs since like kindergarten. So we definitely know what those are. So we have a number on this side and a number on this side and we have to compare them. And here is how I compare them. So I'm gonna mark it up up here. We're going to compare using those. Okay. So first I count the digits to see if I have the same number of digits. I've got one, two, three digits and one, two, three digits. So now we can compare. If they have a different number of digits, you just pick the one with the most digits. Okay. But these have three. So we got to break it down. So I start with the hundreds place, start with the greatest place. We have four and four. Those are the same, so I'm gonna put an S. Nine and nine, those are the same, so I'm going to put an S for same. And now we have nine and four. <gasps> those are different, aren't they? D and D. You see how I'm showing my journey right here? I'm marking up my text, it's not blank. I'm really taking the time to think about it. That's what you gotta do too, okay? This is my style, y'all. This is how I mark up my text. And <laughs> you can definitely choose to take some strategies that I'm using to mark up your text as well. But be you on these problems. Show how you would do it, okay? All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. So nine and four, those are different. I'm going to circle the number that's greater. And I know that nine is greater than four because a nine-year-old, like some of you, is greater than a four-year-old, right? Oh, yes. So because of that, we are going to have our little monster in here, our little comparison crocodile eat. Da -na 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 -na. Eat up the greater number. So now I need to find that sign, which can be kind of confusing. I need the mouth opening on this side, on the left side, which ends up being B. Sweet. Okay, let's try the next one. Count your digits first. We've got one, two, three. A one, two, three, same number of digits, so let's compare it. Six and six, those are the same. Six in the tens and six in the tens, those are the samesies. Nine and nine, oh, we got samesies all the way through. When that happens, which answer is it? Yeah, it means they're equal. 669 cupcakes is the same as 669 cupcakes, come on which would be F, they meet at F. 
All right, final one. Oh, I love matching so much. Final one. Let's count our digits first. We've got one, two digits and one, two, three digits. So we just have to pick the one with more digits. Yeah, 176 is greater than 18. So we want our comparison crocodile named Carlton. <laughs> I literally just made up that name. Carlton, the comparison crocodile. I think that needs to be a rap or a song. Now my brain is going to be thinking about that all day. Great. Okay, comparison crocodile is opening up and he wants the greater number. Da -na -na -na. Apparently he gets um, shark music. Da -na 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 -na. Um. And we're going to pick the one that it matches with the mouth opening up on the right side, which would be G. G, isn't that an amazing answer? Why yes, yes it is. All right, so that's how you do these two kind of problems for today for this standard. If you need to make any corrections, please do that at this time. And now let me go ahead and take the time to point you in the direction of some more videos to help you practice with the same stuff we worked on here with adding. Well, we didn't, we did add to check our work but this standard is about adding, subtracting, and comparing. So let me show you where you can get some more videos with me, not wearing a sideways hat. I think this is the first time I've ever worn a sideways hat in a video. So if you know that you need some more practice with adding and subtracting, I want you to check out McCarthy Math 155 Unit 2. After working on this unit, you should be adding and subtracting like a pro. Now McCarthy Math 155 is a membership, but everybody can grab a seven day free trial to check out the videos and see if it's a right match for you. I'm telling you, students at schools are loving this. They're begging their teachers every day for math videos. How awesome is that? So check out the link below for McCarthy Math 155. The second place that I'd like for you to check out is on YouTube. A few years ago, I created a series called How to Pass the Math FSA. When I created this series, it was because it was a computer-based test. So the questions are a little bit different than what you will see coming up this year because this year it will be a paper-based test for you, which is why I created the Math FSA Bootcamp series to help you practice and get ready for that test. However, the how to pass the math FSA questions and videos still provide you with excellent practice for each standard. So go ahead and check that out. I also encourage you to follow me on my social media platforms I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. And of course, I'm here on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. If you found this video to be helpful, if you enjoyed it just a little bit, if you could go ahead and smash that like button, that would be awesome. Why you ask? Because I am on a mission to help as many third, fourth, and fifth graders as possible, and teachers too. The more that you guys like these videos, especially in this series, the more students and teachers will find them. You're actually helping the world, and that's a really cool thing. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right, you are the ones that we have been waiting for. So so find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And I will see you all on the next episode.